In many respects, external vibrations are public enemy number one for your turntable. Today, we are checking out a product that promises to help out with that. All right, we are unboxing the Fluence IB40 turntable isolation base. This is a new offering from the Canadian Audio Company, which is known for selling decent quality turntables and speakers at a good price. I own two sets of Fluence tower speakers and a couple of their turntables, and I dig them. Let's see if the IB40 carries on with that tradition of value. The isolation base sells for 165 bucks Canadian or $120 US. That's much less than comparable products from other audio brands. This one, which I'm unboxing, was sent to me at no charge for review purposes, but my opinions are my own. This box, by the way, this whole thing was really hefty. The actual isolation base weighs in at just over 10 pounds and it can support up to 25 pounds, which is the approximate weight of my Technics SL1200 or Technics, depending on where in the world you're from, SL1200 Mark II turntable. As you can see, the IB40 is essentially a turntable plinth, but without all the turntable guts. It looks great, it looks really good. It comes in three colors. This one is natural walnut product itself it features a bubble level and four adjustable feet the same feet that come with fluence turntables so let's test the sucker out channel 33 rpm all right first thing is first what is an isolation base and what the hell is it supposed to do as the name implies an isolation base isolates your turntable helping to absorb external vibrations those vibrations can be picked up by your turntable stylus and turned into sound which results in a diminished listening experience we don't like that right it's why good turntable plinths are damped and why you shouldn't keep your speakers too close to your turntable and why you should never place your speakers on the same surface as your turntable. It's all about managing external interference. According to Fluence, by effectively reducing external vibrations or external interference, the IB40 optimizes frequency response, ensuring that audio enthusiasts can enjoy accurate, undisturbed quality. That is quite the claim, is this. Dear 33 or is a bunch of snake oil? I don't know, let's talk. So I've lived now with the Fluence IB40 turntable isolation base for a couple months. I got it back in March before it had been released publicly. I used it in the basement here, pairing it with both my Fluence RT81 Plus and my Project Debut Carbon turntable. It's interesting because the floor here in the basement is obviously concrete, it's cement, which goes a long way in reducing vibrations from speakers and reduces vibrations or impact from walking around, all that stuff, at least when compared to hardwood floors. Even so, when playing music at a medium volume, I can still feel my cabinet, my cabinet vibrate. And as we discussed, those vibrations can carry over to the turntable where they're picked up by the stylus and amplified, causing subtle, or sometimes not so subtle, audio interference. And of course, that's not something we want. Turntable isolation bases come with all sorts of claims, not just from Fluence, but from all manufacturers of these sorts of products. And those claims typically are that they improve sonic performance, that they improve dynamics, that they um, result by using them, you get a clearer, more realistic sound, that sort of stuff. Did I notice any of these improvements while using this isolation base for the past couple of months? Well, let me tell you. Maybe, maybe, if anything, I noticed an improvement in the bottom end. It was a little more punchy and pronounced. But again, we're talking about really subtle stuff. This may have been me looking for differences in sound. I can't tell you for sure. So then, given that, is this new Fluence isolation base worth it? First things first, the IB40 looks great and feels like a quality product. It doesn't feel cheap, far from it. It's made from MDF covered in the same veneer as the Fluence turntables, and at 120 bucks, it's definitely priced competitively. As I mentioned, this isolation base is heavy. 
which is what you want if you're looking to reduce external interference and external vibrations. I also like the built-in bubble level and adjustable feet. Many turntables have adjustable feet, but not all. The IB40 helps ensure your turntable is level, which is important to get the most out of your device and out of your listening experience. Yes, you can build your own DIY turntable isolation base. I see videos of some people doing that using like IKEA chopping blocks. But one, those aren't gonna look as good as this one, and two, they aren't gonna come with the same features. Here's the thing, if you're picking up this Fluence turntable isolation base, expecting a day and night difference in audio quality, you're, you're gonna be disappointed. The effectiveness will vary depending on your gear and listening environment. That's really the bottom line. But if you have a lightweight turntable, or just want extra protection, this isolation base may be right for you. Personally, I think the IB40 pairs really well with my Project Debut Carbon Turntable, and I'm gonna keep on using it right over there in my home theater. All right, 33ers turntable isolation bases. Do you own one? Do you have one? Do you use one? What do you think? Is it effective? Let me know. I thank you for watching. I will be back really soon. Till then, keep on spinning.